All right, welcome to Garage Mahal. Uh, still got some computer work going on there, but we are working on a 2007 Murano, and we're going to be doing lower control arms. Had the option of doing just the ball joint because the ball joint was bad on the passenger side, but we opted to do the whole control arm just because you don't have to fight the uh, the lower ball joint anyway it's pretty simple this is actually one of the simpler control arms i've actually ever done on a vehicle so got some light in the right places but basically you know this is all all that we're looking for and we want to take this little bracket out so we have access to this side of the lower control arm so these are basically just about all the tools that you're going to need but we're going to start off with a 12 millimeter because that's going to be this part of the control arm actually this is going to be the guard for the control arm no suckers around there let's loosen that up with the socket real quick regular wrench on that. Alright, that's your little bottom bracket. Got that exposed. This is your ball joint over here. So we're just going to spray that down with some WD. Both sides. Then this little nut over here. Ball joint first, and I believe this was no, your offset wrench. It was 20, 22. All right, so that's going to be your 22 mil on that side. impact on this side. I know not the traditional way of doing this, but Here, 
I'm going to spray some more penetrating oil on top of that bowl joint. We're going to use the pry bar just to loosen that up a little bit. You don't have to go super crazy, but just enough on the other side just to kind of get a bite in there. Starting to feel it move a little bit. Get a little more penetrating oil on top. Squirt it in there. All right. Okay, next, I'm going to break this bolt. And that is going to be. I think it's 19. Yeah, that's 19. You need a big breaker bar. And that is tight. Right, hopefully you got a good view of uh, that up in there. Go down to our extendable socket. All right. That's a little bit too long. 19. That's your 19. sockets okay. all right now we got that moving put this on These two nuts done. They're 19 as well. Okay, 19. Ugh, you know what? We're going to do that with the impact. stubborn all right and then this one not gonna come down too easy so we're gonna use my favorite tool the air hammer with the pickle fork Grab the uh, good old hearing protection. Right. Get 
that out later. Too bad. All right, so now we're gonna get the new one in. Got some prep work to do before we get that. Um, I like to take a Dremel tool, a little wire brush. I like to clean this hole out a little bit. Do the same thing with sandpaper, but here I got the tools, may as well use them. Let's clean that rust out of there a little bit. this forward a little bit because what that will do is that will help clear this so you don't have to take that off right. now that's gonna always be a tight fit so I like to use a little trick guy by the way. Now we're gonna spray some lubricating oil in there. I'm gonna put that right there. I'm gonna use this little spot right here to help get that in the spot. Alright, a couple 
pitch with the regular hammer on this. I'll help line that up. So you don't want to hit this little nipple down at the bottom. Yeah, a little bit more. Okay. So basically, we got a bottom out here. So we're going to put that bolt back in. Actually, we're going to use the new one. here. fill it at this point just so we don't forget to do that later and the trick here is you want to keep pumping and you'll see that boot start to move a little bit after it fills up with the grease and this is something a lot of guys forget to do See how it just started to expand. One more, and that's probably all it's gonna need. Okay, that's good. All right, clean that up. All 
All right, we got that in. Now we can torque that down the rest of the way. Threads off a little bit. Let's bring up that whole case of debris got up there. there okay good there now I put the cover back on I see he's got a little guide he's got a hole right there needs for those little actually you know what That one kind of 
holding. Last but not least, this little sucker. Control arm, and you don't have to take that apart. Only thing you have to do is take the wheel off, and there you go. What do we do that? About half an hour, 20 minutes. That's it. Any questions? Feel free to leave in the comments. Any comments? Leave in the comments. And once again, thanks for liking and subscribing. Brian from Garage Mahal. Have a great day. Thanks, be safe.